Welcome to the west side of Vancouver. Unlike the rest of the province, the housing out here <laughs> tends to be a little bit on the pricey side. There's one fella who managed to build a mansion in this neighborhood uh, with the money that he made selling yoga pants. Although some people did complain that uh, from the wrong angle, in the wrong light, the pants were see-through. And that's kind of like the BC economy as a whole. Uh, on the outside, it's all yoga pants and everybody's happy, but from a certain angle, you can see what's happening below the surface. The West Coast isn't just fancy coffees or talk therapy for labradoodles. One in five children in British Columbia lives in poverty. One in five. Uh, in Vancouver, the so-called city of millionaires, that number is one in four. Incidentally, none of the kids on this block live in poverty, so obviously that means more than one in four someplace else. Over the past decade and a half, the BC government has helped make our province the most unequal in Canada. Yay! The top 1% in British Columbia receive tax breaks that average $40,000 a year. Do you know how long you'd have to survive on welfare to make that much? Five and a half years. Our provincial government is five and a half times more generous with the richest people in the province than with the hardest hit members of our communities. That, that's totally backwards. It's, that'd be like directing hunger relief programs to me, a guy nobody wants to see wearing yoga pants, even the mansion guy. Poverty is not some inevitable, unstoppable part of our natural environment, okay? It's not like Vancouver rain or Prince George road ice or grow ups in the Kootenays. It's a political choice. And even worse, it's, it's a bad political choice. We spend $9 billion a year fighting the effects of poverty. Whereas a comprehensive plan to eliminate poverty, uh, raising welfare at livable levels, building social housing, creating affordable childcare spaces, and raising the minimum wage would cost us $4 billion. That leaves $5 billion. We, and we can spend that on whatever our little West Coast hearts desire. We, we can get more lattes. Uh, or uh, spend it on puppy physio, uh, or we could finally build that pipeline for triple O sauce. The obscene poverty that surrounds us, uh, just like the obscene wealth that surrounds us, are the result of a thousand little political choices. Of course, this May, across the province, we all get to make one big political choice. Make sure that your provincial election candidate is committed to eliminating poverty raising welfare to livable levels, building social housing, creating affordable childcare spaces, and raising the minimum wage. After that, if you want to have yoga on a bridge, fine, do yoga on the bridge, but nobody should have to sleep under it. BC can't afford poverty. We can't afford poverty.